Hey, what's up, guys? I'm going to show you how to create a vector tile package that can be used as a base map on ArcGIS Online so everything's in the same projection. That way you can view state plane coordinates when you're in your map and also that there's no conflicts between different datums so you're not experiencing any weird transformations when you're trying to view any reference layers as well as your new field data collection layers or your current position on your field maps app. So first things first, uh, I already have this vector feature added over here. Uh, this is just a bunch of canals, washes uh, in the McDowell Mountain area. And so what we're going to do, this could also just be streets. Uh, it could be any sort of reference points. But we're going to go ahead and project this layer and then use this as our base map online. So we're not going to be able to use a raster background in the situation. So we wouldn't have like imagery or anything like that. Uh, but the advantage of it is that it's much more lightweight, it'll load much faster, and uh, it'll just uh, work much better than trying to mess around with a giant raster tile package and trying to source that data. So let's go over to properties. Uh, I'm gonna, I don't know if you can see this window right now, but all you do is go in properties, you go to source, spatial reference, and then we're gonna choose a, uh, a geographic coordinate system. So right now, mine is in NAD 1983, which is the datum we want, but we actually want to use the state plane projection specifically. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to cancel right here. Uh, I'm just going to right click this. I'm going to go to data. Let's export our features. Uh, we'll call this just our flow lines, but projected. We're going to go to environment and choose our output coordinate system. Uh, we're actually not going to choose it from the map. I'll go to favorites right here, and it looks like we have our state plane, Arizona, right here. So let's hit OK. Let's go back to parameters, make sure everything looks good. We'll hit OK, and let's export our features. So that's going to add it to the map. I'm going to remove our previous one so we don't get anything confused. I'm going to go to the map, go to map properties. We're going to check our coordinate system over there. We're going to ch uh, change that to the same one, our state plane coordinate system. So now everything is projected. And so again, it is necessary you project both your layer as well as your map. So now we're going to right click our layer, go down to data, and actually sharing the one below that, and we're going to share this as a web layer. So we're going to get this tab popped up over here. I'm going to expand this out a little bit. So let's you choose the layer type. So I'm just going to choose vector tile. I'm going to choose the folder we're going to put it in. I'm just going to put it in this Bridgeport folder. And then we will also go ahead and analyze it. So it's probably going to throw an error for this unique uh, numeric IDs. All you have to do is click this, auto assign ID sequentially. So now we're good over there. And now we can publish this layer. So I'm going to quit the recording, and I'll get back to you once we get onto ArcGIS Online after everything's been shared and cached. Okay, so now that we've shared and cached the layer, it's going to take approximately, I think, about 10 minutes, depending on the layer size. You can see right here that we have both a feature layer and a tile layer. So that feature layer does not have to be created uh, right under the vector tile when you're sharing the layer. You can opt whether or not to share it as a feature layer or just as the cache tile layer, which is not clickable and doesn't have the actual individual uh, feature information, attributes, functionality. It's just the view, basically. So what we're going to do, we're going to open up a map. So we can choose a data collection layer that I also recommend sharing in the same way. Uh, where you go ahead and just make sure the layer and the map is projected, and then you just share the feature layer. But it says a vector tile set, you'll just share it as a feature layer. So we'll just click this demo right here. Give it a second to load. Open this up in Map Viewer. So it's going to make a new map. And then uh, we can see that the demo shows up, and I got a point over here. It uh, looks like a simulated point that's actually going to be over here, which is low resolution. So we're going to go ahead and add that vector tile uh, data set. So you're going to go to plus up here. Uh, you're going to browse layers, and you're just going to find your vector tile set. So you can see right here, uh, this HD flow lines projected. It's going to be a feature layer. You're looking for this symbol right here, which is the actual vector tile set. So 
let oh, actually sorry do not click that um so you're gonna get an error if you just try to add it directly to there you're gonna have to click the title and use this as a base map so you can see right there that the vector tile set is not compatible so let's scroll out a little bit and we can see our flow lines so these are not going to be clickable, but you have your base map and everything's going to be projected properly. That way we're not doing any transformations. Uh, so yeah, that's about it. And uh, let me know if that makes sense, if you have any questions.